All righty, thank you, folks. We appreciate that. Let us say it's a pleasure to be here at White Oak Shores for our first time here. So uh, this is really cool. Everybody feeling good today? Let me hear you out there. Good to be playing outside. We've uh, been indoors all winter playing, and I uh, always love playing the festivals. And Other than being in Florida, a couple of festivals this winter, this is our first good outdoor festival. We had a couple down there this year, and it was so cold it needed to be inside. So uh, we don't have to worry about that today. But like we said, great to be here for the first time. We'll get you introduced to everybody as we move through the show. We'll start right here front and center of the boy playing the mountain boy. Well, you are a boy, I guess, kind of. Depends okay. on who you're asking. Right. <laughs> hey, Mike, real quick, two things. If I could get just a little bit of high end on the bass and then turn the uh, master for the monitors down just a little bit, the overall. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry. Don't try this at home. They're professionals. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. Playing the mountain, been with us since uh, January 1 this year. He came on board doing a fine job. He is the pride of East Tennessee State University. They have a bluegrass program up there. You can get a Bachelor of Arts degree in bluegrass music. I got one of those about 35 years ago. Didn't cost near as much as yours did. No, I don't reckon it did. <laughs> We're getting to come around and play you one on the mandolin. Makes his home in Irwin, Tennessee, if you will. How about a little hand for Troy Boone right here on the mantle? Oh, tune called Yeehaw Junction right there, which uh, is, there you go, Yeehaw. <laughs> Let me hear a big Yeehaw. Yeehaw. All righty. Man, we need to carry y'all everywhere we go. Yeehaw Junction is a crossroads down in Florida. It's right at the tip of the Lake Okeechobee right there. 
enough geographical lesson here. We'll get back into some more music. Playing the dope road, picking up the guitar right now. He's been with us since July 4th last year. And I'm going to tell y'all what. The very second we booked this festival, he's had this date marked on his calendar. He could not wait to get here. I don't know what that is right there. Somebody's shooting at you or something. He's riding the ship. <laughs> and he can tear up a sound system with the best of them, folks. There's no end to his talent. <laughs> this is kind of his hometown festival, I guess you'd say. He's from, is it Richlands, North Carolina? Brad, you're not listening to me there. Brad, are you from Richlands originally? That's yeah. He, uh, we played down in Columbia, South Carolina last night. It was about 11.30 before we got out of there. And he drove that bus hard as you could drive it to get here. I was back there in my bunk trying to sleep. I had to put a seat belt on to stay in it, man. He was, <laughs> that thing will do 80 and he was running 90 to get here. He was so glad, looking forward to being over here. Uh, he's got a lot of friends and family here today. and uh, Both of them, <laughs> them Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> We're proud to have him a part of our band. We'll get him to come around and sing this song. It's uh, off of our latest recording. It's a gospel number that uh, he brought to the, group when he joined and uh, we'll tell you about those recordings here in a little bit we got a little table set up but we'll get him to come around and do this one for you if you will folks how about a hand for brad hudson over here yeah. on the guitar now yeah when i see the sun rise in the morning when I feel the wind blow across my face when I hear the sound of children playing I know of God's amazing grace and I believe there's a place called heaven and I believe in a place called Calvary She closed her eyes to sleep. I felt the power of ten thousand angels take her soul away to be crowned at Jesus. 
Jesus' feet And I believe There's a place Called heaven And I believe In a place called Brad Hudson singing for you right there. I believe. Like we said, that's off of our uh, latest CD called uh, Colors and Crossroads. And uh, we have a table set up somewhere back here. <laughs> Top of the hill by the gate. And uh, we have uh, CDs, T-shirts. We got all kinds of goodies. Most important, we got my mom and dad sitting up there today watching the table. It's good to see them. Good to have them out at a festival. They hadn't been out in a while, and uh, I'm so glad they came down. I have to brag on them a little bit. Here coming up just a, a few months down the road in November, mom and dad are getting ready to celebrate 60 years of happily wedded bliss. Sorry, Mike. I personally know the last 51 have been the best for them. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, they're up there at the table and uh, we'll all be up there after the show we'd love to invite you to come by and visit with us CDs are $15 you can buy two for $25 uh, not obligated to buy a thing just come by and shake and howdy and uh, come over and hug and kiss Brad <laughs> well we have one rule no tobacco users if you're going to kiss him we had a bad experience here a while back with that. He, I announced that. This old gal, she was headed down there straight toward him. She was coming toward him like this right here, if you can see me. I said, look at here, son. She's puckered and 30 coming this way. As she got close to Brad, leaning over, he said, big man. He said, what's that running out of the side of her mouth? I said, I don't know, but she's a pretty level-headed old gal because it's running out of the other side, too. All right. Snuff. That was pretty bad. So, uh, anyway, y'all come visit with us up there. We'll do you a song right now that's on our Sideline Session 2 record. It was a great song for us in 2016. It spent just about the whole year in the bluegrass charts and uh, got to number one on a couple different charts and on our main Bluegrass Unlimited Top 30, it spent three months at number two. Never made it to number one. The only reason it didn't get to number one, some old boy named Russell Moore had the number one song right then. He beat me out again. <laughs> but Russell and I had a good bet. We bet a dollar to see who could get up to number one. So I paid him a dollar. And, uh, but it's a great tune. We'll try it for you. Let me hear you. Do we have any mountain girls out here? I can't see you, but let me hear you if you're a mountain girl. There's one. Thank you, darling, for saving the day right there. All right, how about this? If you've ever been to the mountains, let me hear you out there, girls. Yeah. Here we go. One called Mountain Girl. This is for you. Cannot harm her 
They can't take away your old-fashioned ways She's pretty like flowers on a mountain She's my sunshine on a cold, rainy day Mountain girl, I love you Mountain girl, I still care And if you feel the same way Joy of life will share Church fall on the mountain will be the scene of joy and happiness. Gonna make that mountain girl my one and only, and we'll live a life of joy and happiness. Mountain girl, I love you. Mountain girl, I still care. And if you feel the same way, joy of life will share. Thank you, folks. Mountain Girl. Over here playing the fiddle. We'll get him to come around and do you one. He's the youngest member of our band. And he'll be the first to tell you there's certainly a price to pay for that. Right, Clifford? Now come on up here and tell the folks howdy, how it's, you've been here to White Oak Shores, you pick with Al Batten and your daddy, Little Precious, you pick with him many times down here. Tell them how good you told me backstage it felt good not to have your daddy here looking over your shoulder. Go, go ahead and tell them all that. Yeah. Hey, Mike. Hey, Precious, how you doing? Y'all are little baby fiddle players growing up. He's getting ready to graduate high school here just in a few weeks.